This week on Sport Fishing, we're back aboard the Sea Wolf out of Emerville Sport Fishing. We're at the Fairlawn Islands right now. Just got my first little fish here, right? Just fishing a little rig here with the bucktail. Here we go. And this is what we're gonna be doing today, fishing at the Fairlawns, going down the bottom, looking for some rockfish. If we get lucky, maybe even a lingcod or two. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. All right. <laughs> I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Check that out. <laughs> Farallon reds. Oh yeah. Light line. 25 pound cast. Oh, look at him. He's just, oh no. I'm not ready to come up yet. Oh yeah, there's a nice. You're not the best fisherman in the house. It's a nice canary rockfish for Robert here. Thank you, sir. Yeah, nice one here at the Fairlawns. What do we got? Two? Here we got a double. There we go. There's a nice double. Yeah. Hey, on the sea wolf. With Dan Hernandez. Uh -huh. Yellow. Nice. Good job. Nice fish. Thank you. On the sea wolf with Dan Hernandez. <laughs> Two fish over here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know how you guys do this. Can I grab the end of this rod here? Oh, yeah. Okay, 
Double with Dan Hernandez on the Seawolf out of Emeryville, California. Board the Seawolf. with Danny, Emeryville. Nice fish right there. What is that called? Canary rockfish. Canary. There he is. Nice fish. Okay. There you go. Nice one. On nice. the sea wall. Nice yellow tail. Yeah, with Dan Hernandez. Beautiful fish. Fishing here is pretty simple. It's just dropping a rig down the bottom. You can use anchovies, cut squid. I'm using a, a rig here, th three-way swivel, sinker on the bottom, and then a B52 bucktail, two-ounce model off to the side with strips of squid on it. But there's so many rockfish here, it's so easy to catch them. If you use two hooks at a time, there's a fish there. Two hooks at a time, it's really easy. I'm just using one. Here comes my fish. Nice little red, red fish here on the bucktail. All right, let's take a little break from the action here. Here you go. <laughs> and let's go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the gear you need for this type of fishing. This week in the tackle box, I want to talk to you a little bit about rock fishing. Again, it doesn't matter if you're fishing out of Emeryville or down in Oxnard. It's all basically the same technique. Now, when you're fishing for that shallow water rockfish, don't be afraid to use something like this, a 400 size level one reel, nice medium heavy action rod, something you can fish to 100, 150 feet, no problem. You're gonna use 50 pound spectra on the back and then a short piece of monofilament, normally 25 to 30 pound test monofilament will work out fine. In that deeper water fish, we are fishing right now in about 150 to 200, 300 feet. This will work out fine. 3 0 reel, 50 to 65 pound spectra, and then on top of that, 40 pound monofilament. You don't have to use fluorocarbon for this type of fishing because you'll be fishing deep. Again, you want a nice medium to heavy action rod for this type of fishing, working right down on the bottom. Now, when you go rock fishing, you have a choice. Either fish for your 10 fish limit right away or target the big fish. I always like to start off trying to get my limit, get some fish in the bag, and then I, I go target the bigger fish. So to catch the two fish at a time, I like to use two B-52 bucktails, space them out far enough apart so if you catch one big fish here, the fish doesn't block your other bucktail. At least two to three feet apart, and then a big sinker anywhere from 12 to 16 ounces on the bottom, just depending how deep you're fishing and how bad the current is but a B-52 bucktail works out really good. I like this a lot better than a straight hook because if the bait comes off, that pole setting of the bait will still attract the fish. Now, as far as jigs go, if you want to fish one at a time, I like to use the four and a half ounce magic metal jig right on the bottom if I'm just trying to catch that school size fish in 100 to 150 feet of water. If you get in that deeper water and you're going for lingcod or bigger rockfish, you move up to a 10 ounce magic metal jig and glow in the dark. Fish this right along the bottom, hit the bottom, swim it up a little bit and let it flutter down. The link cod, the big reds will attack this. Works out really, really good. And if you want to target the big link cod, this is what I like to use. A six ounce B52 bucktail with a large single tail grub, double A grub. The white works out really good. Our red tail works out really nice. And I either like to use the chrome or the glow in the dark. Let this go all the way to the bottom 
swim it back a little bit, put it back in free spool and let it fall. The lingcod will chase it down and eat it. I catch big reds on it, salmon grouper on it too, but the lingcod really, really like this big jig. They like something that's moving in the current and this big bait looks like a big piece of food to them. They'll chase it down, they eat it all the time. Well, this is the basic gear you need for this type of fishing. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> Sorry, sir, here with Dan Hernandez catching some fish. One more time. Hi, right, fishing with Danny Hernandez. A beautiful day here on the Pearl Island. Thank you, Dan. Nice yellowtail. Yellowtail rock. And a single. Look at that. There's another one. Nice. At the Sea Wolf with Dan Hernandez catching fish. Just working that bucktail on the bottom. Everybody using two hooks is getting two fish at a time. I'm just using one. We're on the first spot here and we almost got limits for everybody. So just fish everywhere. I don't know what I have here, if I got a big salmon grouper or what I got. But uh, those are heavier than the other fish I've been catching, other little rock fish. And I only got one hook on, so there's only one fish here. But they're loving the bucktail, fishing the bucktail. I don't even have bait on it anymore. The last two fish I caught was just a straight bucktail, no bait at all. Dropping it down there, fish slamming it. You can see how I'm winding, just nice and easy. Not jerking the rod, just using the rail. Nice and constant. You just don't want to be too fast. You can spin fish off when you're fishing this deep. There's color. There we go. It's a yellowtail rock fish here. We call them Johnny Bass. For us in Southern California, we call these Johnny Bass. And up here, they call them yellowtail rock fish. That's a bucktail right there. See no bait on it at all. Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh, it's cool back. <laughs> Hit hard, huh? <laughs> Good job, smile say cheese and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, the sea wolf of Dan Hernandez. Yes. Nice wing cut right there. All Fishing right. out the fair lawn. Yeah, All right. <laughs> that B-52. Fishing with Danny Hernandez, B-52, jig, second fish for the day. Nice link caught there. I <laughs> got another one. Out here with Dan Hernandez and John, picking up a link caught. I'm 
Seawolf at Dan Hernandez. Got my limit. All right. Great day. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Look at you go. Yeah, a little slack. All right. Fishing with Dan Hernandez on the uh, Seawolf. You never know what you're going to catch. Maybe he'll show us how to cook this up in the galleys. This week in the galley, I'm gonna cook you up a bonita. We're in my house, and lots of times people ask me about bonita. Is it good to eat? And it really is good. It's just important that when you catch it on the boat, you have it bled really quick, and you have it filleted at the end of the day. Nothing is worse than taking bonita home, it's been out in the bag all day, and it all falls apart. So if you take care of it, it'd be good to eat. So here's a bonita. You can see the skin side is still on here. So what I'm gonna do is take this filet and put it into a pan, a baking pan with foil in it. First thing I want to do to it is I patted it down to make sure it was nice and dry. Now I'm going to put some olive oil on it. Don't need a lot. And I'm just going to coat it all the way across. Real simple, add some salt. So this is sea salt. Put some black pepper. And just because I like it a little bit spicy, add some uh, red chili flakes. So I'm gonna put some of that on here. You don't have to put this if you don't want it spicy, but I like it a little spicy. And then there's this um, spice, Mexican spice. It has like a lemony taste to it. It's really nice to put this on my seafood. Sprinkle it on there. And the last thing I'm gonna add is a little bit of lemon. Put it on there. So now my oven is already at 350 degrees. Let's go ahead and put this in the oven. And we're gonna bake that for 10 minutes. So let me set my timer. So this is the finished dish. Looks really good. And all I'm gonna do here is just take a little bite. Yeah, that's nice. That's so good. The one thing with Bonita, right down the middle is the bloodline. Stay away from that. That's not going to taste good. But all that white meat on the outside, it's really delicious. And the whole thing about Bonita, like I said, if you take care of it as soon as you catch it, when you cook it like this, it'll be nice and delicious. And as I showed you, I left the skin on it. Just leave the skin on it when you bake it. It comes out really nice. Well, let's get back on the water, show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Right, another nice link cod with Dan Hernandez on the seawall. We're fishing today. All right. Bobby. All right. Nice on the seawolf, Dan Hernandez. Beauty. Nice link right. cod. Here. Nice link. All right. Nice one. Quality Ling fishing here with Dan Hernandez. All right, my first Ling today, fishing with Dan Hernandez aboard the Sea Wolf out of Emeryville, California. Doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> I'm Bob. Just got bit fishing a bucktail right on the bottom, bouncing the bait. I'm hoping it's a link cut. See if you getting bit over there.
Hopefully I got a link cut, I don't know. I'm just fishing a bucktail down on the bottom. It felt like a link cut at first, the head was shaking. But it doesn't feel big now. Oh, there it goes. I just saw the boat. I need a gaff. Just flying nice and easy. There it is. Link cod. There we go. Just bouncing that B-52 bucktail right on the bottom. And that link cod came up and ate it. Not the biggest fish of the day, but a nice link cod. And that glow in the dark, six ounce, worked out really good. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action here on the board of the Sea Wolf. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. For this week's tip of the week, I wanna talk about how the big fish got caught today. For the little fish that we caught, it was all about using anchovies and pieces of squid. Here we got the limit of fish, but those last couple of big link cods we got, Bob, he's a regular, he's been with us every year. Ex-Boston Red Sox, that's why he's got the B up there. Yeah. They used to play for the Boston Red Sox. We love to go fishing, brought his son out with him today. And this is this week's tip. Big fish, big bait. He was using a whole mackerel, that was a whole mackerel, dead mackerel, with a trap rig on there. And he was fishing it right on the bottom, fished it all day to get those link cod. He only got two bites on it. First one he lost, second one he got in the boat. Nice fish, and his son got even a nicer one. With the same rig, same exact rig, whole mackerel, two hook rig, fishing it right on the bottom with eight ounce sinker. Good job, guys. Congratulations. Thank you, Dan. All right. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.